David M. Brown. NASA's Day of Remembrance ceremony today at Florida's Kennedy Space Center for three fallen astronaut crews. It was 35 years ago today that the space shuttle Challenger exploded and broke apart 73 seconds into its flight. Seven crew members were killed that day, and it turns out that Cleveland State University's current president helped in the recovery all those years ago. Andrew Horansky shares his story. Three, two, one, and liftoff. In just 73 seconds, jubilation turned into sorrow. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. And a mission was over. Aboard the Challenger that cold January morning in 1986, Akron native Judy Resnick and Krista McAuliffe, a teacher from New Hampshire, who was to be the country's first civilian in space. It was such a tough day, such a tough day. CSU President Harlan Sands was a First Division officer training aboard the USS Guam off the coast of North Carolina, just 23 years old and watching when the call came in to respond to the blast. I could remember it like it was yesterday and being out uh, on that on that ship. We didn't know anything when we went out there. It was a rescue mission and that was our first goal was to rescue it was only after we spent some time on the scene did we realize that it, it became a retrieval mission. David M. Brown. Today, there was a remembrance ceremony at Florida's Kennedy Space Center for the Challenger, Columbia, and Apollo 1 crews who lost their lives as America plans a return to the moon and eventually Mars with others who are also willing to pay the price. Because there's a subset of us who embrace risk if the risk will bring you reward of something that has never been achieved before. To advance the journey of humanity and live on as heroes. And on that part, you know, I'm just really proud to uh, be a part of that. Just this week, NASA completed its first spacewalk of the year. The next is scheduled for February 1st. They're working to complete a long-term battery upgrade, the future in mind. I'm Andrew Horansky, 3 News.